Now in this video, I'll be explaining the purpose of a turbo and how it creates more power. Now if you're interested in the actual components of the turbocharger, I'll have an additional video which will explain that, but this is just going to give you the basic understanding of how a turbocharger actually creates more power and what it actually does. So what you use a turbocharger for is you use the exhaust gas from your engine to spin a turbine which will then suck in air from outside and force this air into your ignition chamber, into your cylinders. So by forcing in additional air, which is called boost, and you'll have this rated, um, many cars will have 8 to 10 psi of boost. Nicer cars can handle 14, 15 psi of boost uh, and, and greater for even more um, well-constructed vehicles. Now, what happens is you're forcing in additional air into the, the cylinders. So you're going to have more air in here, more oxygen. That's the important part. With more oxygen, you can burn more fuel. So you're going to have a greater amount of fuel, say 15 psi. Now, atmospheric pressure is about 14.7 psi. So if you've got 15 psi, you, you've doubled the pressure, so you can have twice as much oxygen in there. Now with all this oxygen, you're going to use more, more fuel and you're going to create a bigger explosion in your cylinder. So a bigger explosion in your cylinder means that this piston right here, which is connected to your crankshaft, is going to be forced down with a greater force if there's a larger explosion. So you've got a larger force forcing this crankshaft to turn. This crankshaft is inside of your engine. Now, the engine crankshaft is connected to the transmission, which is connected to the drive shaft and through a differential to each of the wheels, each of the driving wheels. So effectively, by increasing the explosion inside of the cylinder, you're going to give a greater force on this tire to rotate. And that is the basic principle of a turbo and what it is attempting to achieve. 